Hello, Internet. I'm Vanessa Bottolato. I own LuLaRoe Vanessa Bottolato. And I am here to confess. My first confession is that I am currently not wearing one stitch of LuLaRoe. I usually wear at least two pieces and I'm not today and it feels really weird. Oopsies. I just like this shirt and I didn't have any clean leggings. I don't even know this shirt wouldn't go with leggings. It's chilly. I didn't shave my legs. I didn't want to wear a skirt. I'm not wearing LuLaRoe. There, I said it on the table. I want to talk about being a part-time LuLaRoe retailer. We're retailers now, we're no longer consultants. And what that looks like for me and owning my own business and how it is changing now that LuLaRoe's landscape is changing. So I am making this video, it's May, the end of May 2017. And I onboarded almost a year ago. I signed my contract June 11th of 2016. Um, my daughter had just turned one and now she's about to turn two, time flies. So when I signed up, my experience is that I am a teacher by background. That's my, um, my master's degree is in education. I had done some direct sales in the past, so direct sales was not new or scary to me. I had also owned a preschool, so investing some money up front to run a business was also not scary to me. Um, I wanted to make some money on the side. My husband's background is nonprofit. We have never been a family that swims in money. We've always been pretty paycheck to paycheck, um, and if there was an extra, any kind of activity or landscaping, whatever, it was something that we needed to budget and plan for. So LuLaRoe was going to be, at the time I was staying home with our three kids, and LuLaRoe was going to be our extra fun money. Um, and I was planning on working between 10 and 20 hours a week. That was our goal. Um, it took off for me, both online and in person, and I started putting in pretty full-time, pretty close to full-time hours. I was also training to be a doula at the time, and being a doula was actually going, the plan was for that to be my main gig, and LuLaRoe was going to be sort of the side hustle. Um, if I couldn't find doula clients, if doula, doula-ing was going slow, then I could pick up on the LuLaRoe. And vice versa that was that was our plan it was going to be a yin and yang kind of deal for me um, with the idea that both were flexible so that I could still be around for our, our kiddos I did not expect LuLaRoe to be as financially lucrative as it was for me from right out of the gates um, and so the doula gig got pushed to the back burner and I was pretty quickly making more money than my husband was and um, working pretty full-time hours and still putting pressure on myself to do the stay-at-home mom stuff that I had been doing. Um, <laughs> LuLaRoe grew much faster than I had bargained for. In particular, there's lots of retailers who work it as a full-time business and I couldn't it wasn't my plan I burnt out I, I was just done um, I think my husband I know my husband got resentful of me when you don't have your child your little ones in, in daycare because you you aren't you don't think of yourself as a full-time working mama excuse me, um, you need to find your work hours somewhere and so you start getting up early or staying up late or work just working when you can, which then takes away from your time with your significant other. And that's it. My friendship suffered. Um, it was definitely a learning experience for me those first six months when my business just blew up. Um, and so I decided for the new year, for 2017, I needed to scale back. I needed to take care of myself. 
um, needed to put my family first again, in particular my husband, um, and just reevaluate why I was doing this and what my financial goals were. At the same time, LuLaRoe itself was growing, and so customers, especially online customers, but I'm feeling it even in person, their choices of where to shop, who to shop with, have become larger. Um, and so my business has taken a hit. I have found that while financially we are having to reevaluate some stuff, that's okay. We've done it before and we can do it again. Um, this has actually been a blessing in disguise for us because it's it's given me the, time, the gift of time to really reconnect with my husband and my kids again. When I decided I wanted to be a doula, my focus was being a postpartum doula. And the reason I chose that is because after my kids, I suffered really bad with um, postpartum anxiety. Really bad. And it took me years to dig out all the crap and figure out who I was again after kids. Um, I wanted to be able to gift other women a much faster finding yourself again after kids process by giving them the gift of time, care, love that a postpartum doula can give. What I found with LuLaRoe, when I first signed up, it was just extra money. I liked the product a lot. I still love the product. I actually love it more than when I first signed up. But what I found was my why is now being able to gift that same exact thing to women is finding yourself. Um, and it doesn't necessarily have to be after kids, but maybe it's your body has changed. Um, you know, your weight has fluctuated. Uh, you have a new job and you need to dress your body. Whatever it is, I find that women are often in a transitionary period when they discover LuLaRoe and the clothes are comfortable and make them feel beautiful. And I can sit down with them or um, you know, whether it's in person or online, I have found like I love fashion and LuLaRoe gave that back to me as a mom, as a woman, just as an adult, I, I have rediscovered that joy, the creativity for me. And what I'm realizing is I, I will not be able to compete with the full-timers, ever. I can't. I won't cruise qualify. I have had... I also can't compete with people who are going out of business. I think a lot of people realized how much work this is. They wanted a part-time job and couldn't make it work part-time and so people are going out of business. They're undercutting their prices to wholesale. They're not making a profit. They're just trying to break even. And I, I can't compete with that. I won't be able to stay in business if that's what I do. So I'm restructuring. I'm rebranding. I'm embracing what I have found that I love so much, which is, first of all, my customers. That has been the biggest gift, the best surprise, is the relationships that I have formed with my very loyal customers. Um, I've made so many new friends through LuLaRoe and I it's truly an honor for me that I have women who are who entrust me to pick out mini capsules and outfits and once a month I get, I'm so excited when I get an email from someone saying I you know these are the events I have this month so I can't wait for you to pick out an outfit or you know last month's outfit was this and I want you to build on that and it's just it's awesome I, I am really enjoying playing that role and that was not if you would ask me you know a little less than a year ago if that was what I saw this turning into I never in a million years would have said yes and so that is awesome so I'm embracing my customers and I'm embracing my niche in styling um, getting to know women, their body shape, their body size, their lifestyle, and their taste. And finessing that into outfits and mini capsules and a wardrobe that they love. Um, so I'm excited about the way that my business is growing and changing. 
Um, if you want to know more about my mini capsules and outfits, it is truly my passion. I love doing it. I love my customers. I love spoiling you rotten. Um, so I would, I would be so honored and thrilled if you come find me on Facebook. Come join my VIP. We have a blast. I can't promise you the lowest prices. I can promise you that I will get to know you personally and I will have you looking adorable in LuLaRoe most of the time. I will also tell you how to dress your LuLaRoe with the stuff you already have in your closet that is other brands. Obviously, I'm not even wearing LuLaRoe today. Oopsies. Um, so, I just wanted to say, like, that's my confessions. I, I don't sell $12,000 a month. I never planned on it. I don't think that I ever will. I'm also staying in business because I love my customers and I, I love the product. I think it's great. I feel so honored to help women feel beautiful and comfortable in the skin that they're in right now. Um, not when I lose 10 pounds or you know when I have time for myself. That is has been the best gift for me, the best blessing really of my business slowing down a little bit is I need to take care of myself so that I can take care of my family um, and of you guys. So really that that is the truth today. Um, so I just I, I sometimes feel like the part timers get a little bit left behind and we're mostly part-timers and we're mostly moms who are doing this for a little side hustle. And so I'm with you. I'm here. We have each other. Come find me. And, you know, um, I'm just excited about what my business is changing and growing into. So I also wanted to say thank you so much. I have some really loyal, awesome customers. And if you are one of them watching this, you know that. And I actually feel like I'm gonna get a little weepy, which is unexpected. <laughs> but there I can think of about 20 women who, it means so much to me that you trust me to pick out your outfits and you come to me as your style expert and think of me as your friend. And that has really been so awesome for me. So I just wanted to thank you so very much for giving me that very unexpected gift um, when I thought I was just going to be selling stretchy pants. <laughs> so truly, you know who you are if you're watching this. Um, so I just wanted to say thank you so very much for supporting my business. It's my honor really and truly so come find me i will figure out how to put some fancy graphics on this little video and um thanks guys <laughs>